As you may know, Cocaine Bear is the title of a 2023 movie that has received a lot of attention. While the Associated Press gave it zero stars and said that it is like a parody of a parody, some other reviewers were kinder, with Vulture calling it just as good as it needs to be, and CNET saying that it is great fun to watch. The Cocaine Bear movie is based on, or as they say, loosely based on, a real story from 1985, which was reported at the time in a single paragraph in the New York Times involving a black bear that died after overdosing on cocaine that had been dropped from an airplane by a convicted drug smuggler. The actual cocaine bear, or perhaps, depending upon who you believe, another bear inspired by the real cocaine bear, is on display at the Kentucky Fun Mall, which sells t-shirts, bumper stickers, snow globes, and other merchandise about the incident. Cocaine Bear even made an appearance at this year's Academy Awards ceremony, where director Elizabeth Banks presented the award for best visual effects. So with all of this attention, it should come as no surprise that Cocaine Bear is also a domain name dispute. Specifically, the domain name CocaineBear.com, which was registered in May 2022, 37 years after the real Cocaine Bear incident, and about nine months before the release of the movie. The dispute was filed under the UDRP, the Uniform Domain Name Dispute Resolution Policy, by Kentucky for Kentucky LLC, which appears to be the company behind the Kentucky Mall where the cocaine bear, or at least a cocaine bear, is on display. The UDRP complaint was filed against an entity known as Camp Zinc in Singapore, which, at least when the dispute was ongoing, had not used the domain name in connection with an active website. According to the UDRP decision, Kentucky for Kentucky owns two federal trademark registrations in the United States for Cocaine Bear, which were issued in August 2022, for use in connection with entertainment services and various types of merchandise. The decision also says that Kentucky for Kentucky licensed the Cocaine Bear trademark to Universal Studios, which produced the movie. Now, interestingly, NBC Universal Media registered the domain name cocainebear.movie in 2021, which it uses in connection with a website for the film. At that time, it appears as if cocainebear.com may have been registered by a different entity before Camp Zinc acquired it in 2022, but unfortunately, the UDRP decision does not provide any background about the history of the .com domain name. In any event, despite its trademark registrations, Kentucky for Kentucky lost its UDRP case for CocaineBear.com. The complainant relied on what's called the Passive Holding Doctrine, which allows a trademark owner to establish the UDRP's bad faith element under certain circumstances, even where a disputed domain name is not actively being used. Unfortunately for the trademark owner, the panel in this case found that those circumstances were just not present here. As the panel said, the WIPO overview refers to four factors that are often assessed when determining whether passive holding amounts to bad faith, with one of those factors being the implausibility of any good faith use to which the domain name may be put. On this issue, here's what the panel wrote. The fact that the domain name does not resolve to an active website some eight months following its registration does not, without more, establish that it was registered and is being used in bad faith. Complainant's mark comprises ordinary descriptive words, and there is no evidence that the mark is so distinctive or well-known that there is no plausible good faith use to which it may be put. And as a result, the UDRP panel refused to order a transfer of the domain name allowing the current registrant to keep it. Now, had the registrant of the cocainebear.com domain name tried to sell it to Kentucky for Kentucky, or if the registrant had used it in a way that competed with the goods and services set forth in the relevant trademark registrations, then the outcome of this UDRP case may have been different. But as it turned out, the outcome of the cocaine bear case was not really surprising though it's a notable reminder that while some titles may make for good or at least popular movies, they don't necessarily make for good domain name disputes. If you want to learn more about the UDRP, please check out my masterclass on domain name disputes, as well as other resources on my GigaLaw website. 
and be sure to subscribe to the GigaLaw YouTube channel to be notified of future videos discussing other internet legal issues. Thanks for watching and see you next time online.